Eisman's only child will be heading off to kindergarten soon, and she cannot even attend kindergarten orientation this week because someone stole her wheelchair ramp, confining her to her home. This ramp was actually, it started right about here and it went down onto the sidewalk. Lindsay Pierce comes to her sister Lauren's house every day to help her since a massive stroke last year left Lauren with significant mobility issues, which is why Lauren needs a wheelchair ramp. And I came up and I walked up to the porch and I almost thought I was at the wrong house because the ramp is always there. I went in and I said to her, I said, oh, I said, did your husband move the ramp? And she said, what? and they were both shocked. They didn't even know. And her husband came right outside and he's like, it's gone. Sometime from Sunday night into Monday, someone took the portable aluminum ramp for their South Fifth Street home in Youngwood. But my sister needs this ramp. So now she is confined to the house. I mean, if something would happen that we need to leave the house immediately, we don't know how we would get her out of the house. Lindsay has called every scrapyard and recycling center in the area with no luck. Friends and strangers have offered to build a ramp, but the Eisenmans are moving to a new house in just a couple weeks. Our family, we're just so upset. You know, we're just angry that somebody could stoop this low to do something like this because my family would do anything for anyone. You know, just ask that, you know, don't don't just take something that's not yours. Again, the family is asking if you have any information on who did this, that you just let them know. All they have to do is return the wheelchair ramp right to the front porch. No questions will be asked. In Youngwood, Westmoreland County, Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.